You've got enough subscription services to worry about between Spotify, Prime Video, Netflix. You certainly don't need another one for your antivirus software, yet you keep getting these annoying pop-ups down here at the screen telling you it's time to renew, and you're at risk. So today we're going to fix that. I'm going to show you the one program I use personally that's free and how to set it up. So let's get into it. In my last video, we talked about the five common reasons your computer is slow, and one of those was not having adequate antivirus and malware protection. Another very common thing I see is when you purchase a new computer today, most computers come with a three or six month subscription of Norton or McAfee, and then you've just let it expire. Now you still have antivirus software running in the background, but you're not protected. It's only as good as its updates, right? So if you don't have a subscription and it's not updating the virus definitions, you're not really protected for any new threats that come out. Norton and McAfee are not what they once were. Um, today it seems that they just take up so many system resources that it's almost not worth having them on your computer. Typically when I get a computer, even if there's a free subscription service to Norton or McAfee on there, the first thing I do is remove that and put one of the free services on there that I use. So in today's video, we're going to fix that. I'm not going to give you a top 10 list of all the best free antivirus software out there on the net there are a bunch of them I'm going to show you one program that I use personally so we can get this done today the program I'm talking about is Bitdefender free now Bitdefender is a good program it's the one that I use personally I like it because it doesn't take up a lot of system resources it doesn't constantly bug me to upgrade and it just gets the job done so take a look at this little video I put together about Bitdefender. Then I'm going to show you how to uninstall that old software off of your computer and get the new one installed. Let's dive into the details of Bitdefender Antivirus Free for Windows, a lightweight and effective antivirus solution. Bitdefender Antivirus Free is specifically designed to protect your Windows PC without bogging down your system resources. It's quick to install and won't disrupt your workflow, making it suitable for various tasks, including gaming, image editing, and resource-intensive applications. Key features include Real-time protection Bitdefender constantly monitors your system for threats, including viruses, malware, and ransomware. It detects and blocks them in real-time. Bitdefender has minimal impact on performance. Unlike some resource-heavy antivirus programs, Bitdefender Free is light on CPU usage, ensuring your computer remains responsive. It also runs silently in the background, so you won't be bombarded with unnecessary alerts. Bitdefender Antivirus Free truly lives up to its name. There are no hidden fees or upsells, and it won't constantly bug you to upgrade to the paid version. They also offer a paid version with additional features if you are looking for extra protection, but the free version is truly free. So there you have it, Bitdefender Free for Windows. This is not a sponsored video, so do me a favor, like this video and share, and also drop a comment below for any suggestions on future videos so I can continue to bring you content like this. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is get rid of that expired antivirus software that's on your computer. So we're going to get that uninstalled. Let's get into it. So we're going to get rid of that expired antivirus software that's currently on your computer. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go to settings. Now I'm using Windows 11, so if you're in Windows 10, it may look a little different, but all you have to do is you can either right click here on your Windows icon and go to settings. This should work in either Windows 10 or Windows 11. So we have settings right here. Another thing you can do, if you don't see it there, is just type settings into your search bar. So I'm going to type in settings. And then I'm going to click here on the settings app. So what we want to do from here is we want to go to apps. And then we're looking for installed apps. So these are the installed apps on our computer. Now, the antivirus software that I'm going to be removing is AVG Antivirus Free. 
your computer. It may be McAfee, it may be Norton, especially if it came with your computer, it should be one of those two. Now, I'm not picking on AVG. Uh, they are on my top 10 list, and as a matter of fact, not too long ago, it was my preferred program. But over the past few years, I just feel like their competitors have kind of left them behind. But it's still a good program. Okay, so another important thing to note here too is there may be multiple parts to the program. For example, here you can see AVG antivirus free. Here's the actual antivirus software, but it also has this AVG secure browser right below it. So we want to make sure we remove these. This is going to be the same thing for McAfee or Norton. You, you may have McAfee internet suite and there may be McAfee web protection. There may be three or four different instances of McAfee. We want to make sure we get rid of all of them. So I'm going to start right here. I'm going to click these three dots here next to AVG antivirus free and I'm just going to click uninstall and it's going to let me know that this app and its related info will be uninstalled. I'm going to click uninstall. That's very important that you remove the antivirus software from your computer. You don't want to install a new one on top of the old one and have both of them trying to work to take up resources on your computer. So I'm going to go ahead and click uninstall. Now your screen's going to look slightly different here depending on which program that you're uninstalling. But again, this here, they just want to know why I'm uninstalling. I'm going to skip that and then they're going to plead with me here to please keep my program but I'm not going to we're going to uninstall and now it is going through the uninstall process okay then it's going to ask me if I want to restart my computer now I'm going to click restart later but I do recommend that you restart your computer immediately after removing the antivirus software so that it can completely remove all of its components from your system if you'll notice here, so I've still got this AVG Secure Browser to deal with, so I'm going to go ahead and do the same thing here. I'm going to uninstall that. Let me know that the app and its related info will be uninstalled. Yes, please. And I'm going to get this user account control that I'm going to allow it to make changes so it can remove the software. And they're so sorry to see me go, but It'll be fine. Uninstall. And of course, they're going to try to entice me to continue using the software, but we are going to uninstall. All right, and there we have it. ABG is completely removed. So now that that's gone from our computer, we are ready to install Bitdefender. Now that we've got that uninstalled, go ahead and pause and do a restart on your computer before moving on to the next step. We want to make sure that we have everything completely removed before installing the new software. While you're at it, go ahead and give this uh, video a like and subscribe. Let's get to it. Alright, so we're going to jump over here to Google. We're going to put in Bitdefender Free. Now it is important that you click on the correct one here because there is a paid version. And of course they want you to use the paid version, so we want to make sure that we're going to the Bitdefender free antivirus for Windows. I'm gonna click on here. All right, now I'm gonna to go to the free download for Windows. Okay, and of course they wanna sell you their paid one, but we're not gonna do that. We're gonna jump up here to our download so you can access that from here. So I'm gonna click on the installer. Okay, now the downloader has started for Bitdefender Security. I'm going to go ahead and accept agreement here. One thing I'm going to do is I'm not going to allow these product reports. And I'm going to hit install. Okay, so now when we get to this screen here, I'm going to do something important. So it tells you that it's now installed, and then it wants to start the device assessment. We're going to skip that. Okay, so here we're on the create your account screen. Now, for this screen, I'm not telling you to use a fake name and email address. I'm just telling you that that works. All right, so we are not going to sign in. We're going to click create account. 
Okay, this is a very important step. So when you get to this screen here, you want to make sure you continue here under the free version. You don't want to click start your free trial because that's going to be a free trial of the paid version. So we're going to click continue. Okay, now it tells me that my free subscription is activated and it's good for three devices and never expires. So I'm going to hit finish. And now it's configuring Bitdefender antivirus free. Okay, we're getting some Windows security alerts over here just because it's recognized the new antivirus software and it's telling us to update it. But that will happen automatically. So you can take the tour here. I'm going to skip this stuff. I'm going to skip the tour. We're just going to jump right in. So from our dashboard, we can do a quick scan, a full system scan. Now, some of these other options here are paid options for like the VPN and the vulnerability scan, this kind of stuff. Okay, now let's jump down here into the settings because there are a couple of very important changes that you're going to want to make here. Now first up top here, you can toggle on or off password protection. I'll leave that off. Now the security widget here, if you flip that on, it brings up this little widget here. If that's your thing, just gives you some information up here in the top screen. I don't need that. I'm going to turn that off. But here's the important part. You want to turn off the special offers and you want to turn off the recommendation notifications. This is that stuff you see pop up down here in the corner, asking you to upgrade, telling you about the latest features, and Bitdefender lets you turn that stuff off and it will never bother you again. Okay, now from settings here, we're gonna go back to dashboard. The one final thing I wanna do is I wanna set up a weekly scan. Remember, Bitdefender has real-time protection, so it's constantly looking for threats, but I'm going to schedule a weekly deep scan, and I'm going to schedule it at a time where it won't bug me and I'm not on my computer. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go over here to protection, and then under the antivirus, I'm going to open this section up. And then you've got your quick scan, your system scan. I'm going to go right here to manage scans and click on this plus sign for custom scan. Okay. I'm just going to leave this named custom scan, but you can name that something. So I'm just going to click on my computer here and that will select everything under my computer. Currently on this computer, there's only drive C, so that's the only one selected. Then I'm going to go to next. You can select some options here, but I'm going to leave it this the way it is because I want it to scan everything. If you take a look at the advanced options, it has everything here. Potentially unwanted applications, archives, boot sectors, everything. So we're just going to click next. Okay, now you have the choice here to choose when the scan runs. Now, if you just click the checkbox here, it's going to run at system startup, but I don't want that to run every time my system starts up. So I'm going to select weekly here. Then I'm going to select the start date. Okay, I've changed that to Sunday. And then I'm going to leave that at midnight. That looks like a good time. Okay, once I've changed that to midnight, it tells me here my scan is scheduled to run every Sunday at midnight. I'm going to click save. All right. And now we have a custom scan set up to run weekly and we actively have real-time protection. All right, so that is how we install Bitdefender Antivirus Free. So stay safe out there and until the next video. Okay, so there you have it. Now you have some antivirus software installed on your computer that's not going to bug you to death. You don't have to worry about another subscription service. If you found this video helpful, please like and subscribe. Drop me a comment below about the next video you'd like to see. Make sure you check out my last video on the five reasons your computer is slow and the one free tool you can use to fix it. And until next time.